Hi you guys, I am back and I am here to do the tutorial and I've already primed my face and did my whole entire full face already so the only thing that's left to do is the eyes and the little black stuff that you guys see that's on my eyes it's by NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean that I use to you know prime my eyes you know to prime my lids so with a little more further ado let's get started with the tutorial so the first things first I'm using this fall festival palette by Coastal Scents and I'm going to be featuring using these three colors boom 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 you guys see that and that's it so with a little more further ado let's go on and get these eyes started first thing we're going to do is that I'm going to use this elf brush and I'm just going to put that black and I'm going to use the black which is at the bottom And I'm just going to put that all over my eye. And please be careful you guys will fall out. So try to be extremely careful. And I'm just dabbing that all over my eye. Alright, next thing I'm going to use is the color in the middle, this burgundy color. That color right there. And I'm going to put that all over my crease. And I'm just going to swirl it in. Oh, forgot to wipe it off. You know the access. And just back and forth like a windshield wiper. Don't forget the other side. And just go back and forth and back and forth. And swirl it in as many times as you need to. Next one we're going to do is our highlight and I'm going to use this color at the top. If you guys could see that, I'm just going to swirl and you know just dab that in. And just blend that out with my finger a little bit. Next what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go back in with that black. This time I'm using this. And I'm going to put that a little bit my out of V. To kind of smoke it out some. To make it like a little smoky. But not a lot. Just some 
just so it can get that little dramatic smoky effect. See how that's doing? And just I'm just swirling it in. See how it look all nice and smoky? I think I smoked it out a little too much. So I'm just going to go back in with that burgundy. Try to bring the burgundy back up. Just a wee bit, not a lot. And then I'm going to use that black again. And dab that on my lid. Get a nice little blend. Next, we're going to do is that y'all gotta excuse me, I kind of getting over a little allergies I had. That we're going to take that same black eyeshadow and that I'm going to use this little brush thing right here. It comes with the bottom and a tip. And I'm just going to put that all over my bottom lid. And just kind of just swerve that. Next, I'm going to take this little color right here. I forgot to mention at the beginning. This color right here at the bottom. Right here. And I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to put that under my eye a little bit. Just to give it that nice little glow fun effect. Woohoo! I like it. It's cute. Add a little bit more of that black. You know, I don't want nothing getting overshadowed. So now we're done with our eyes. The only thing we're going to have to do now is our eyeliner. Oh, excuse me, you guys. I mean, we're going to have to line our eyes now. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this little brush right here. A little slant. And I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild by Fergie. And it looks like that. And I'm just going to dip that. And then I'm just going to line my eye. I'm going to try to make this dramatic. This line, this eyeliner dramatic as possible. Bring it down some because I want to make that Arabic effect. And I must tell you guys, if y'all don't get this on y'all first try, please don't be sad. Because it took me a long time to kind of master this too. But if you guys caught on it today, some people are fast learners. Some people take a little time. But everybody's unique and special. Everybody learn in their own special way. That's what make everybody special in this world. And my waterline. And I'm making it double wing.
Yeah, I want to make that real thick. I want people to know my eyeliner is here. Bam! Okay, I'm going to quit. Enough with the silliness. Okay, now next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to really just go over this again because I really want that double liner to really, really stick out. I mean, now you guys, you guys don't have to do the double eyeliner. It's just that I like dramatic makeup, so if this might be too dramatic for some people out there, that's fine. It's like that slogan goes, to each is their own. To each is own. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this color, this little cream color right here, and I'm just going to put that in the middle real softly and sometimes if you need to redraw it on you can go in as often as many times as you need because I'm sure going to do it to make sure you know you want this to be really really perfect and here I go because I noticed the it was kind of disappearing a little bit. And I didn't want that to happen. Try to add a little bit more of that cream shadow. You could rather use this cream shadow or a white shadow. It's totally, totally up to you. Ooh. Now next, I'm going to put me on a little bit of mascara, and this is just by Wet n Wild. It's called Mega Length, and I'm going to do my top and bottom lashes. And then for those of you people that are really exotic out there in um, my YouTube land, it's my lashes. And you guys, please forgive me. I'm just kind of learning how to master this. So please don't laugh. You know, I don't do individual lashes. I just do the regular strip. So that way, one touch, bam, and you're finished. And I'm just going to blow that. And then, I'm just going to apply my lash, my lashes on. Oh 
Huh. You know what, you guys? I think I'm just going to use my finger for this. Or maybe not. Now, we're going to do our lashes on the other side. And what I forgot to do is that it's always good to do your lashes like, you know, kind of mold them to your eye a little bit. So I kind of do them like this. Take the little glue. Now, we're going to blow, 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 and apply. Live, love, blow, and just apply. Oh Lord. Oh come on. Oh come on little lash. Get on for me. Sometimes you gotta be careful because your inner corner lash could be real tricky. So you really have to be careful. Sometimes I just give it a little press because that's what worked for me. But if it if this situation can work for you, feel free to do it too. And then just give it a little pinch. And there we have it, our lashes. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to finish the rest of my face. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to put on my little glow. And I'm going to use this brush light right here. It's like what I call a taper brush. And this is my e.l.f. This is the only glow that I use. And it's in 839 Got a Glow. It's e.l.f. blush. And I can't lift it because, you know, it's it fell and it cracked. So I'm just going to dab my little taper brush, the excess, and I'm just going to put that over my cheeks. And on my nose, my chin. Ooh. I just love this glow, you guys. This glow is so amazing. Next things first. I mean, next. Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to wipe off my little lip gloss that I use to keep my lips from getting dry. I'm going to wipe that off. And I'm going to put on my burgundy lipstick. And... And what it says, burgundy, and it's um, NK, it's no special lipstick. I got it from my beauty supply store. Any like reddish brown or burgundy lipstick will do. And it looks like that. And I'm going to line my lips with this NYX pencil in 08 Deep Purple.
my lipstick is on next thing what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to apply my blush and it's from the sleek palette in pink spirit and it looks like that and I'm use this blush right here but any dark burgundy blush will do and I'm use this as my blush brush and it's from elf excuse me mineral powder brush and I'm just gonna swirl that in and you don't have to use a lot of blush because this blush do go a long way and you're just gonna I'm just gonna put that on my apples on my cheek very very lightly because I just want enough I don't want to look like a clown okay that's all done so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take my elf complexion brush which look like this and I'm just gonna just blend everything in my face out together so they could be become one all harsh lines whole face now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm gonna take this elf makeup mist and set but you can use whatever mist you have and I'm just gonna spray that on my face to set my makeup a few pumps wait for that to dry make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth but here's a little trick that I did learn it's like when you put lipstick on your teeth you can sometimes use your finger or a tissue and you go like this or you can use a little tissue and just go well you guys this makeup tutorial is complete I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys like this tutorial please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and there's many more makeup tutorials to come soon bye